Good morning. Hi. Hey, you're getting big. What do you think? Do the stairs today or what? Let's try them. Oh, don't get sideways coming down now. There we go. Don't jump that step. Don't jump it. Good girl. There we go. Wasn't too bad, was it? Now, however though, she likes to jump. And I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera or not, but there's some nice scratches now on the third step because she wanted to leap like she's Superman off the step. <laughs> oh shit, it scared the hell out of me. Get your dragon, girl, get your dragon, Jesus. Day doesn't start. To the coat, shit, it's hot. God damn it. Let's try that again. Let's actually grab the handle. This is my morning right now. I uh, just had some toaster strudel. I know, they're, they're a little damn juvenile, but uh, I gotta love my toaster strudel sometimes. So I ended up having two of those this morning. I got my RC battery charging right now, and I got a few things that I actually gotta pick up from my car. I went shopping yesterday, got some stuff for the garage. I think you guys are gonna like it. Um, it it's just more or less, you know, something that I've never owned myself. It's something I've always wanted always wanted the air tools and you know my own compressor and all that stuff so now I actually have the space to go out and do all this stuff so um, I got all that in the car the compressor is currently at Canadian Tire uh, I have to pick it up today it's already paid for but um, it was too big to fit in the G so it's a 20 gallon compressor and um, I figured that would be perfect for you know anything that I really need for say the project car or you know anything else that I'm doing in there so I think that's gonna be perfect. And then I also got some torque. You know what, I'm gonna show you guys right now. The troublemaker herself over there. Actually, right about where she shit last night, to be honest with you. Hey, Finley, remember you pooping right on that damn carpet? Yeah, I had to clean it up. I was watching Ninja Turtles. Damn good movie, by the way. All right, let's quickly go see the charge on the battery. You coming with? Finley. Come on, bring your dragon. Let's go. Hi. You doing something wrong in here? <laughs> yeah, I bet. You probably are. I gotta get my tripod, girl. Come on with me. Show them how you do the upstairs. Oh, there you go. Nine weeks old. Little golden doodle. She was scared shitless of these steps, though. No joke. And she's overcoming the fear. This girl will not come down. Finley! Come on down! You can do the stairs, I just want you to do them. Come on. There, there you go, look at you. Come on down. Take your time though. There you go. Come on. Finley! Finley! God damn it. Where'd I... What the hell are you doing there? <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! What? <laughs> Finley! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Come on! Do you want to play with the crazy card or not? Come on! Come on! <laughs> Finley! Come. Come on! You just, you just... You just did a flight of stairs. You, you just did a flight of stairs. You just did a flight of stairs and you can't do these two damn little steps. Hey! What is that? Finley! Goddamn toothpick? That's terrible. Problem with dogs, man. You gotta be 100% careful. You hear that? What do you think of the crazy cart? Hey? Right? You want to give it a. Okay, hold on. The right way. You're fearless, eh? Oh! Handles? Right? What do you think?
That wasn't too bad. She loves these back wheels though. What do you think of the crazy cart? It's not bad, eh? It's pretty damn crazy. Wanna sit in there? Go for a spin. Can I get a thumbnail right there? Can you maybe just pull the handbrake up so it'll look good? What do you think? There you go, put your paw up there. Come on, Bailey, put your paw up there. We have the air ratchet, we also have the impact wrench, we then also have the hammer and chisel, and then we also have a full die grinder as well. So it's a very nice little kit, 100 pieces for 129 bucks, man. I couldn't pass this up, it was on sale regular, I think 330, and I think it would be a perfect starter kit for what I'm doing at least, and I, I mean, I couldn't beat the price. Instead of going out and getting all damn DeWalt, you know, extra batteries, you gotta get your drill, your impact, right? you know, shit adds up, man. I've never owned air tools before, so this is gonna be really nice, man. I'm very excited, and I just can't wait to start building a car. And I know a lot of you guys are saying, Slap, is the car coming, man? When's the car coming? It's coming. The project car needs to have tools to get worked on. Essentially, this is why all these tools are here. So for when I do get a vehicle um, that I can work on and stuff like that, I'm gonna have everything that I need, all right? So ladies and gentlemen, here we go, man. 100-piece Mastercraft set. Oh, shit, everything's already out, okay. so. Not bad. Um, we have a few things out of the box already. I got a few damn die bits, okay, okay. And then we got the big boys underneath, man. Here we go. Instruction book, I'll probably, I'll probably give it a glance, you know, sometime, but this is the boy right here. Impact wrench, feels nice and hefty, to be honest with you, feels good. So, for what it is, man, it looks very nice, I mean, this isn't snap-on by any means, and obviously that wasn't what I was going for when I was buying a tool kit like this. I just wanted a nice little kind of starter kit for myself that was gonna do everything that I needed. And I think that this is the best bang for my buck for sure. We have the air hammer here. Very nice little piece as well. Um, looks like it's gonna do the job perfectly for what I'm gonna need. And it does come with a three-year warranty as well too. So, um, you know, all these things are warranty, which is very nice about that. So you don't really need to, you know, stress out too much about it. Up next, we have the air ratchet. Obviously, definitely necessary in any damn garage for sure. So that's a nice little piece. Right, I mean, something like that. You like the air ratchet too, right? Hell yeah. So that's the air ratchet there. Not bad. Mastercraft's been making some good stuff, man. I've always trusted Mastercraft. Um, I don't know if you guys have them in the States at all, but this is a Canadian brand, I guess. I'm not 100% sure on that. So it does say on here that this thing is gonna be spinning uh, 25,000 RPM on here. So very nice uh, little piece on this guy. I like this, man. I actually really enjoyed this kit already. Very happy that I got this, to be honest with you. And we also have our air blower, which is huge, man. I've always had an issue with trying to get, you know, dirt and grime and dust and all that off of pieces that you're working on. So now I have my very own air. Right? Shit's solid, man, absolutely solid. So this is the overall kit. Let's give you guys a full view on here. We have all our different die pieces, our chisels. Um, so very, very nice set. We also give us some sockets as well too, so that's very nice. I actually did not know it was gonna come with impact sockets as well too, so that's very nice. This is a 15 mil. So the impact gun itself says it's a twin hammer, delivers twice the working torque when compared to a standard air-powered hammer. So that's pretty damn cool. Die cast, aluminum body, um, it also says ergonomic design with soft rubber grip, handle exhaust, um, the air ratchet says it's lightweight, ball socket retainer, 
and also has a hardened planetary gears and a soft rubber grip. Wow, you can read the brochure. <laughs> the next piece that I ended up picking up is the Mastercraft Digital Multimeter Kit. Uh, five functions, 19 ranges, 10 and DC range, and PVC stealth. Uh, this guy was $11.99, uh, regular about, I think, 30 bucks. Gives me a set of pliers, which I needed, because the ones that I have are shit. Uh, gives me wire snips and the multimeter and a case for $11.99. I mean, I couldn't go wrong with the damn thing, so we're gonna go ahead, open this up. Should just slide out, right? Oh, okay, I was, I was gonna cut the box, man. I was gonna cut the box, god damn. All right, here we go. First open. Woo! There we go. All right, that's pretty damn self-explanatory. Snips, pliers. These aren't the same blue as the photo, though, man. I may have to take these back. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to. We have the snips. We have the multimeter. So very nice little kit with the case. I like it. Now, the only thing, though, it doesn't come with the bag that I thought it was coming with. It's, it was supposed to come with a nice little Mastercraft bag, but I don't see that bag here. But whatever, man. It's not a problem. The multimeter though, um, I mean obviously with the wheel that I have with the e-brake mod, you guys are saying slime, you should have just got a multimeter and you would have solved your problem real damn quick. You're right, I got it now, man. So if that ever happens again, I can pinpoint what's going on and where it's going on as well too. So nice little kit from Mastercraft as well. And no guys, it's not a sponsored video. I paid for all these. I got this at Canadian Tire, my local store. And I uh, also picked up this guy. So this will be the last one for today's unboxing here. Torque wrench, man. I had to grab one. Uh, 50 to 250 foot pounds of torque. And it's a half inch bar, man. So this is gonna be exactly what I need. You need a torque wrench, man. You definitely do. Looks pretty damn nice to me, man. So obviously, I got a lot to learn with these guys in terms of you know operation and making sure that everything is perfect. But obviously, you don't want to over torque bolts, right? So, I mean, this is going to help you do that. Torque wrench, Mastercraft, pretty self-explanatory. Not bad. It was 50 bucks, regular $100. So, I got a pretty damn good steal on this as well, too. So, all of this with the compressor that I got. It's a 20 gallon compressor. I don't have it here currently, but I can show you a photo, man. I can show you a photo. I'm getting it today, actually. I didn't have enough room in the G to pick it up. So, the compressor that I did get was this guy right here. It's a stand-up compressor for 209 and uh, just to read you guys the deets, man. Let me read you the deets here, hold on. The 20 gallon compressor, three horsepower, and let me read that, I can't read backwards. Uh, it says it delivers 6.2 CFM at 40 PSI and 5.2 at 90 PSI. So not bad at all. 209 bucks for a 20 gallon air compressor. Couldn't say no to it, man. So I got all that. I'm gonna be picking up the airline as well too for today, but um, that's gonna be getting set up. I'm gonna get everything put away, and then I will give you guys an updated garage tour once this, everything is in the toolbox and ready to start wrenching. It's a huge thank you to every one of you guys that do watch the content on a daily basis, obviously. You know, I wanna share this as much as I can with you guys and you know, try to get a project car, but I'll tell you right now though, let me know in the comment section down below, what car would you like to see parked in this space. What do you think? What do you think? Man, I got two spaces right here. I've been I've been really debating on what the hell I want to do, man. If I want to do, you know, back to the Honda game here, turbo it, something, I don't know, or go with a big muscle, but I don't have a lot of room in this spot right here. So it's got to be something a little bit more compact, but when I think I do work on the cars though, I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to angle it right here so that way I can you know have ample amount on each side to work on but I think that would be the best way to do so. I don't even think I'm gonna park the G in the garage. I really don't. I think it's just gonna end up staying right in the driveway and I'm gonna just be working on the car in here. So I don't know. Leave me your thoughts, leave me your opinions down below. Look at Finley right now. Now the biggest thing though is my damn RC battery charged at Son of a bitch, man. I should have done this last night. I totally forgot about it, but I want to get the new tires in here and start sliding on this floor, man. I think it'd be absolutely dope, but I got to wait till it's all ready. There she is right there. Just waiting. She waiting, man. So it is currently 2.56 in the afternoon right now. Just finished top 10 for Friday. It's a pretty damn wacky top 10, I'm not going to lie. This damn troublemaker outside. Where is she right now? Where is she? You're the one that peed the floor? I think so. Come on in. Come on in, you've done the time. And you did the crime. You wanna help me make some food or what? Okay, or lay down. 
That's fine. Okay. So, I'm a big sidekick, man. We're making this shit right now. Chicken and broccoli sidekicks. I was gonna make these mashed, these mashed potatoes, but this is just too much work right now, man. I just want sidekicks, that's it. So, we're making sidekicks, ladies and gentlemen. Dashy let's play, not bad. All right, I figured we would come back to the garage. I just finished with the battery. It's fully charged right now. And we're gonna go ahead and pop off these tires. Now, this actually takes a seven mil. Um, however though, the new tires that I'm throwing on are not orange inserts in the middle. So unfortunately they're gonna be all black, which is okay. Different style, I'm okay with that, but just something different. Oh, like I was saying though, these things are absolutely done. We have our new tires right here. The tread is head over heels different from the other tires, um, but they look a slight bit bigger. Look at that, they look a little bit bigger to me. 50 laps your way, 50 laps my way, right? I mean, oh my God, terrible. Name that movie, man, name that movie. Swing in the wheels. Completely different material on here, so I'm very curious to see how this is actually going to slide. Now, we may do a little bit of house drifting right now as well, too. We're gonna see how that goes, but um, they look okay. Boom. She looks mean, though, with these new tires. Holy shit. And it looks like it's a little bit lower as well, so we're gonna have to definitely not let it sit as low. It's the first time this girl's even come in contact with an RC car before, so. I don't know how she's gonna like it. Definitely need to adjust that. All right, adjustments are done. You guys can see, just kind of leveled it out a little bit, brought up the rear end a slight bit as well. And hopefully, we can get some skids now. They're quick as shit though, oh my god. You guys can see these ones, these ones are meant to drift. And I asked them specifically for those same tires, so I got some grippy ass slicks on this thing, man. today hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode I know there wasn't too much going down today I had to get a lot of editing done some recording done as well too so 
Uh, just overall, just wanted to kind of you know, show you guys the air tool set, show you guys what I ended up picking up, and I still got the compressor, which I will be picking up later on today. So that's gonna be going down. I'm gonna get the airline, then once I have everything working, I'll show you guys that. Maybe do a few little basic repairs on the G. Uh, I gotta get some new belts in there. I don't know, sky's gonna be the limit. Once that tool chest is full, man, I will show you guys an up to date with everything in there properly, you know, with all the proper things underneath of all the tools so don't scratch the tool chest as well too. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today. Don't forget to slap that like button. House vlog number three, I think this is. Holy shit, man. I do wanna take that crazy card out. There's an abandoned gas station about maybe five, 10 minutes away from where I live. So I wanna check that out, bring that along with me, see if we can get some slides and even an RC car, I think that'd be pretty damn sick as well too. But other than that for today, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Slide Train, out, peace. Oh my God, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Slide Train and welcome back guys. 